Hello world, this is the HCSR04 ultrasonic distance module. I'm going to show the basic steps to get this connected and communicating with your computer. And then we will see how to get a servo that moves in response to the data from the ultrasonic device. I'll uh, speed up this part, I'm just connecting wires. We connect the VCC and ground, and then we connect the two signal pins for trigger and echo. Now let's write uh, some code. We need to include the new ping library. I'll add, add a link to that in the description. And we need to define our variable. We'll call it uh, sonar. And the constructor for our new ping class requires a trigger pin and an echo pin. Just to verify, I, I believe the trigger pin is on two. Nope, three. And echo is on two. There's also a third optional parameter for the maximum distance that we'll be able to sense with the, with the device. I'm just going to set this to 100 centimeters. Now I just want to set up the serial port so that we can get some data and see what the device is doing. The new ping class has a method called pingcm. What that does is sends out a ping and then what listens for the response and converts the result into a distance in centimeters. And we just want to print that out to the serial device so that we can see the number on the computer. And finally I'll just add a quarter second delay so we're not uh, flooding the device with ping requests which it can't keep up with. So we're ready to compile and upload the sketch I'm showing all zeros, and once we start moving this around, we see numbers showing up. The numbers that you see are centimeters. And you can see it's kind of noisy. The data is kind of noisy, and, and you have to account for that. You'll especially see how noisy it is once we set up this uh, servo. So here's just a super cheap 9G servo. I'm also going to use this breadboard power supply to uh, to power the servo separately from everything else just because I tend to get better performance. Even if there's only one servo, I tend to get better response if it has its own power. I 
I want to connect the ground from this power supply to share the same ground as the Arduino. And now just hooking up the servo, that's pretty simple. We have power, ground, and a signal pin. Connecting that to pin 11. So we want to include the servo library. Servos built in, of course. And once again, that's on pin 11. Here we define our variable. Now, servo doesn't require any parameters, so we can just leave those parentheses off. And in the setup, we want to tell our servo object which pin it's going to be listening to. And now down here in our loop, we want to we want to write something to the servo. We want to write some type of angle based on the distance from the ultrasonic sensor. What I'll do is map 2 to 15 centimeters onto 15 to 165 degrees. If you have a good servo, you could use 0 to 180, but my servos kind of freak out at very low and very high angles. Just use this little piece of cardboard for stability. And you can see it seems to be working, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of lag as I move the, the sensor. Let's try reducing the delay a little bit. Let's reduce that delay to 60 milliseconds. That seems to be a little bit better. The servo is moving very clearly in response to the distance from the sensor. But it is still a little bit jittery. That's something I think I'll try to address in a future video.